Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Just kidding, he's not here. Um, we are going to make some tags today. And what I was thinking is, I always need tags. And we are going to do the um, eclectic journals, uh, the smaller ones, so I can make tons of tags and use it. So I do want to make some of my secret journaling spots that we've made and this one was actually um, Clint's idea and I thought it was such a fun one that that's what we're gonna do first so let me grab my cutter and it's getting warm already so I had to run out here this morning to make videos because Gabby it is warm I'm complaining now I was thinking I am so thankful I don't live in Texas anymore <laughs> So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this down to, let me tell you what the size is because it doesn't really matter with the tag, but you can do whatever, seven and a half. And I want this to be six and a half because I like my tags to be three. Um, oh darn it. Six. That's okay. We're just, we're just going to go with six. I meant to do six and a half. And then I'm going to score it here. I'll show you why. Score it. You don't have to do this part, but I just think it's easier. And then also about an inch, half an inch on the bottom. Okay, so this is going to be our tag. It's talking and messed up there. That's okay. <coughs> but I think we can knock some of these out and build up our stash. Okay, so that's the side. This is the bottom and then I'm gonna score it halfway so actually I'm not I'm just going to okay if it was six and a half I would have scored it at six or three so I am thinking about how I want that to to fold and have that little lip on it so we'll just do it there hoping we can knock some of these out pretty quickly and I just want this is going to be the back so I'm going to keep this piece but I'm going to get rid of the edges here man guys it is getting so warm you know what we discovered? We went outside. Deary came by a couple of times yesterday, which is our deer. And um, she visits about 4.30, but she also came by at noon yesterday. Um, I stayed home because I wasn't feeling very good. And uh, she, well, Stinker got in our garden and ate the beet greens, which is fine because I'm not particular to them and she pulled out one of our beets so it's cute though it's about this big but what the heck am I gonna do with one little beet so anyways thankfully that's all she ate as far as we can tell in the garden so I don't know I don't know so you just want a pocket we just want a few pockets let me show you what I'm going to do here. Cut here, cut here. Okay. And then I'm going to measure it because I want my two and three quarters. No, it's not even. So if I did, let me go to this one. So 19 to here. So what is that? Like 15, 16 or something. So let's do this one. <coughs> one, two, and the second for the third right there. 
this is going to go inside this pocket or not. Obviously, I don't know how to measure. Should be the fourth one, I guess. What do you mean? Oh, I already shared it. I'm on my first video of the day. What are you up to? Oh, honey. And Clint. Okay, so I'm going to do this. You don't have nothing wet? Oh, yeah. That went on the by myself yesterday and I just was not feeling good. I'm still not feeling the greatest, but it is what it is. So this is going to go in here. This is our tag. Oh, come on, you. I was just telling them about our um, deer eating our yeah, I forgot to grab that beet too. Beet greens. What are we going to do with one beet? It's a good freezer. I know, but one beet. I wonder if you have to just right. make sure that's okay. And then I'm going to trim it so that it's the same as, as that. Why are you out here then, baby? Why aren't you resting? I'm resting here. Oh, you are? Okay, and then I am going to go ahead and punch a hole through all of them. I think I told you that this was Clint's idea. I want to take this guy out, and then I'm going to put an eyelet, but just in the top one. And we have red. Gold. Let's do gold. Come on, you. Glenn's probably hiding from the cats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Little girl got in this kick yesterday where, and then I'm going to put one in here. Um, where she was biting all over daddy Lucy was and boy he just she even put a bruise on his leg such a brat <laughs> I think she's trying my attention trying to get your attention I think she was playing but mm -hmm. it was just a little she was playing really rough <laughs> <laughs> Very rough. So I'm going to ink it with my fire brick. Of course, you can make these for any journal. This one, I'm not really going to do much with it because it's going to be kind of hidden. So. And then I'm going to do this one. And we're going to decorate this one. So that's all you need to get started. So let's make a couple more and then we'll decorate them all at one time. And so this is hidden in here. And then you're going to put your, um, your string or whatever here and in here so that it kind of looks like one piece. And then you, you just know which one to pull to have your hidden um, tag. So that's what we're going to do. I just thought we would make a couple of tags and, you know, that. Let me plug this in. Okay, so I pulled some of this. Actually, I think I'm going to keep that the same size. Because if I do it six, then I can get more out of it. If I did it six and a half, I could only get a couple. So I'm going to trim this. I'm just using like cardstock, so that's what these are. And I'm mixing and matching like pink and yellow and red. So let's do 
six. I like this size, so how tall was that? Wasn't it six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a quarter or whatever. <coughs> so let's do seven. We'll use this for something else, but then I can get like four out of here. Six. And then this, we could make one maybe. <clears throat> so this is really good to use with your with your stuff, and then we'll score it like we did the other one. I don't think it's quite half an inch, but it's fine. Same thing with these. These are really nice for mass making. this from where we scored it to to here so yeah it's six and three quarters or so then I can do this one like six and three quarters it's just under that and it was what to, oh, let me, might change on each of them, but let's see, and this goes in here, I really love this yellow, I wasn't too fond of the blue for this journal, but then we'll measure this, so that was what to and <clears throat> make sure I measure that right. Is that the one? Yeah. Okay, so I do need to cut it like this. Michelle, you don't know what you're doing. Okay, six and three quarters. So it needs to go this way. Okay. <clears throat> was like two and three quarters. I think that was two. Yeah, perfect. And then when that folds, so about two and three quarters. What are you doing today, baby doll? Uh, I don't know. You still gotta get some stuff to draw. Yeah. See, that's about right. And then I need one more, but I don't have scrap. Hold on. I have this one. I think it might work. A lot of work. He was home by two yesterday, though, which was really nice. Was it before two or after two? Or? Uh, I thought right by at two. I don't remember if she was there or not. Okay. I was wondering. Um, I think I'm going to just trim this.
definitely one thing I need to have in my stash is for um, when I'm doing journals is to kind of stock up on tags because then I feel like I need more uh, <laughs> need to make more tags so I think that will work so like at the end you know so this one did rip, but that's fine because I can use this one. It's been really warm though. Uh, it keeps saying we're going to get rain and stuff and then we don't. Or if we do, we don't see it. Nope. So I don't know. And then yesterday, last night, they did the... Um, Okay. They bailed hay, which made it smell so good, but it's like they do it in the middle of the night because I guess it's cooler. Is that why? Yeah. I don't know. Well, but, I think it makes it sweeter. Anyway. So anyways, it was like 10 o'clock last night. They started bailing hay. And uh, it's quite, I mean, it's 20 feet, you know, the probably 30 feet to our, to the fence that they butt up against so sometimes it can, can get loud yesterday wasn't too bad because we had the air conditioner on sometimes they do it like two o'clock two or three o'clock in the morning it's, which is a little extreme if you ask me nobody asked me but if they did I would have told them but it was, wasn't bad last night come on if it goes in like really tight, what I do is just take a little, just a sliver off of it because I don't like it to do that. I want it to go in nice so that you're not fighting with it. There we go. So mainly you're just making like little pockets. ended up drawing yesterday and I think I overused my hand. <laughs> Still sure feel it today. I'll draw today but I'm not going to do tons. My idea is because I'm really far behind and I will be showing you guys a flip through probably uh, this weekend of the ones that I got done because I finished April and May. And you get a new book every month. So, kind of excited to have actually finished two of them. <laughs> Still have over half of June to do. <clears throat> What's wrong, baby? Nothing. I got a new font program. I'm trying to figure out. Oh. Yeah, so Clint mentioned this a while back to me. And... I don't know if it was what he intended, but you know how I shellify things. I'm like, oh, I can do that. And so this is what I came up with. Probably should have did whole, whole, holes. I, don't know what so, I know you don't, but I do. I know what, what I'm talking about. <laughs> that one's nice. I might have to trim that just a touch. I just don't want to poking out so that you know it's there because it's a secret and then this one. this is when I was trying to design some items for the secret journaling spots and so Clint was talking about this, and this is what popped into my brain. I know, and then how I end up implementing them and stuff is could be totally different than what you had envisioned. I love this little guy, though. I think he's so cute. for today. Okay, and then see if he 
goes in there nicely. <coughs> trim him just a touch too. <coughs> then he was a little long. I think I kind of did like one size fits all kind of thing and it's okay. You can make it fit. And then I am just going to trim because I want to do the same size. And then whatever size you trim, match it back up, flip it over, and you can do the other side. And that makes a perfect tag. You guys probably know that trick, but at one time I didn't, so. called us yesterday and they said we are they are changing our trash route so trash, trash pickup day which it's been on Tuesdays for 25 years <laughs> so it'll probably be kind of hard to remember I don't know what do you think babe yeah a lot of times we do have the trash down there on a Monday anyways because like if we have to work on Monday then you know in the weekend you're just kind of like putting filling them up and then taking them down just so you don't have to won't forget about them let's use red on let's just use red And you can do it on both sides. This is an ink blender. This one is a cedar. I think, yeah. You know, these are going to kind of be floaty, floaty pockets. So, probably won't <coughs> decorate the back, but you can. Which means they're just going to go in a pocket or something. Maybe a paper clip onto the side or whatever. So... You could glue them down if you wanted, which I might, I guess. I don't know. Or you could put them in like a flip, you know, so you could do a flippy thing. Can you guys see what I'm doing? There we go. Why don't you guys speak up sooner? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, we can't see what you're doing. I forget that I'm not like just chatting with friends. It's kind of like... You know, that's kind of how we make it for you guys, is that <laughs> we just get together and we chat and, yeah, kind of catch up on what's been going on, which hasn't been a lot around here. It is getting hot, though, I do have to admit. Did we have any more blooms on the um, zucchini? Uh, no. Oh, there was and a then while I have this one. Oh, the there was. Still, so I went ahead and... Uh, Oh, nice. So we should at least have one right now. Oh, cool. Um, I saw a bee flying in the female flower oh, earlier. Uh, well, the male was already, it was, was it, I don't think it was open all the way, so I went ahead and opened it. Oh, good. Pollinated it. He way. pollinated the, the, um, squash. So then I need this guy. And I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole in here. And go ahead and have your little tag in there. That way it lines up perfectly and no problems, you know. And then we can remove it for our eyelets. Oh, and I did want to ink that just because it's kind of got those raw edges. Honey, what are you doing? <laughs> Clint was lonely. He missed me. Didn't you? 
<laughs> I know I usually I do way too many of these to do in an hour. But we'll see if we can get four decorated and done in an hour. I know I paused it, didn't I? So about half half an hour, so probably not, but get a couple done anyways. Things take a while, you know. If you're new to junk journaling, you know, and you're thinking, oh, I want to purchase one, but they're too expensive. I mean, they take hours and hours to make. Talking about the no, I'm talking about the no. journaling. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> they do take a while. Well, like time. tags take a while, and I think I'm going to put red in this one. Oh, they one. You know, I mean, one tag could take a person an hour or more. And the reason I, sometimes I can knock them out, because I've had a lot of practice. And maybe I have an idea before we, Beforehand. yeah. Well, and some people are like, how come they're charging so much for for that particular journal? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's because they, because the, they take a lot of work. They do take a lot of work. We had this one, one friend in um, Durango and he's like, I want to see your journals. And he's like, how much? He said, I'll buy one. He said, how much are they? And I told him and he's like, oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but you don't understand. <laughs> well, he doesn't even know what the longest idea was there. Yeah, he didn't know what a junk journal was. And then when I was showing him, because I was working on ephemera that day in the car, uh, I think I was cutting something or something. So I was explaining it to him and he's like oh I that might need sense. I might need one of those yeah, yeah. So. once you realize yeah okay now I understand why. I understand it's not just a paper journal it's so much more it's like a piece of art you know speaking of which we still have some Edith Holden journals in the store if anyone's interested I think I have made a decision which one I'm keeping but we'll see. This one, let's just put gold. I'm just doing a matchy, matching just because, um, like the one on the inside, just because I want um, them to be as, you know, hidden as possible or whatever. Then I can match up the tags too when I'm working on them. You could totally decorate the tags as well. I don't think I will, but we'll see. You know, you could put like a Tim Holtz person here and so, but then, yeah, I don't think I'm going to because I would put like that on the outside of these. So, we're done with this. Put it away in my trusty thingamajiggy. You know what I found the other day? I was cleaning up and I found tons of Tim Holtz. The itty bitty um, Tim Holtz people. Which are still inside. But I have tons of Tim Holtz people. Let's just use those because why not? And what somebody, somebody was asking the other day. What is this... Um, saw it on Facebook or something. Where do I get these people? And yeah, you'll learn they're all Tim Holtz. But aren't these awesome? So this is going to be kind of an eclectic journal, which doesn't mean that it has to be fancy or anything, really. It can be more of... Well, um, what do they call it when you have fam uh, furniture and crap from different areas? Eclectic. Kind of seems like yeah, so it could just be anything, yeah, for different. Crap. I kind of, th I kind of think of like fancy, but it doesn't have to be, you know, like that. But to me, that is too small. And what I like is he also make he makes the same people in different sizes. 
So it's kind of nice because you're like, oh, I like that those people. And just keep looking because you might find them. Ooh, look at these people. Aren't they, aren't they pretty? I kind of like that size. At least for that one. Maybe we'll do two like that. I kind of want them to be kind of fancy because I feel like it is... Um, those are cute. I like those. Do I want to do more? And I really like this guy. He's just so cute. <laughs> Doesn't have anything to do, but you know, who cares? We'll do whatever we want to do. And maybe these people. Okay, let's just do them all, Tim Holtz people, because, you know, why not? <clears throat> Do whatever you feel and if I don't like them for the, these particular journals I can save them for another journal you know so this is a tag these are the ones I want to I'm gonna put these in the matching ones see so any of that right so that um, it just stays together yellow easy enough to match them up so that's nice and Gold. That one already has one. So this one. When I think of eclectic too, I think of like traveling and you know, like these people are traveling and picking up different things as they go and that kind of thing. I think this one I want this one on this because it's taller. I love those. I think they're fun. And I like to put them like kind of to the edge. This guy I want here because he looks like um, he's traveling. So, because of the tag. So, I think I do want some um, this stuff. Doilies. So, I think I'm going to put that one there. Let me grab my, my book pages. Make sure they're appropriate for TV here. <clears throat> oh man, did I really do that? Thought I, I put a, you <laughs> thought I put a lid on it before I left yesterday or the other day. Right. Yes, it's really dry. That's what I was doing. I have to do it. Oh, I know what I I would just do a piece of it. I need or to like... Or, or yeah, cut it. Take your scissors. Yeah, I need to cut. I ain't going to use scissors to cut it with. It would be so sticky. Yeah, it's your pocket. Oh, there's a brace plate. Is there where? Cut myself. Oh, good grief. You guys know it's me. I know I'm not supposed to do it like this, but I'll be careful. If I disappear, and you know why. That's a bummer, though. I don't want to, and it's, it's not even sticky down there. We'll try it and see. I really thought I put that back on there. Well, that's a learning lesson, isn't it? Let's go down further. <laughs> I wonder where my lid is, actually. I need to find it because I'm not going to do that again. I really thought I'd put it on there. I think I'm down to the juicy part. This was kind of a new one too, so look how stringy it is. <laughs> so again, do as I say, not as I do. There's my lid right here. Okay, I don't know. It's still really, it really dried it up. We live in a really dry climate anyways. 
so. <laughs> I'm gonna try to salvage it. Yeah, so that was a waste, wasn't it? But maybe we saved part of it. That's too thick. And let's go ahead and we'll put that on the back side as well. Someone, when I was using my Uhu glue, it would always dry out like really super fast. And somebody had told me to put, I'm going to let that dry, to put um, water, like soak it in water, which I probably could have done with this one too, but it is what it is. I'm going to move this one because it's just sticky and gross. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> Oh, you guys. Hey, you guys. Okay, let me look in here because I do have some different color ones. Like that. I think I have some more of those somewhere else. But I still want, you know, to make them like really bright and cheerful, eclectic y looking. So we're going to give it a try. I don't want them too dull for these journals because they're going to be pretty, pretty extreme, bright and cheerful. Okay, this one is a big one. Let's put it on here, maybe. You know what? Where's that? Before I kill myself cut myself anyways. What was this from? I don't know. I'm going to ink this, I think. And I do like the idea of kind of um, rolling it to the, you know, to the other side. Holding it over, I guess. That is really really pink. Michelle. Let's just focus on these two, and then we'll worry about those at another time. If I have time, I mean, yeah. Already, what, 40 minutes in or something? 
so these guys might wait, but let's go ahead and focus on these two. This one, my hands are all goopy. So what I want is some um, bling. So like some of this stuff because I do want, you know, something to kind of kind of poke out. That's actually really cute. And then this is that stuff I got from Amore Fabrics. Ooh, maybe that one. That one's really pretty too. Ooh, maybe that one. I don't know. Put that there and then like cut it down. There's my people. Hold on, this is all gluey. Of course it is. Strings everywhere. And then they could like sit here. Kinda, you'd still kinda see the, the one thing. So let's kinda try that. Messy. If you're not making a mess, are you really having any fun? I do not know. Are you, hun? Clint's always right, so. <laughs> he would know, right? That's kind of cute, though. I kind of like that. And then these guys could maybe. I mean, I like to layer, and so I don't mind that you can't see a lot of that. In fact, we could kind of just do that one edge, because you're not going to see. We'll see, see it on the back, but then kind of, kind of do something like that. It's actually not bad. So let's <coughs> use our Fabri-Tac for that. <coughs> that is really, really uh, bulky. <coughs> I think Fabri-Tac doesn't have to have a <coughs> lid because I misplaced my lid. I know. I think it's in the house, but it seems fine. It that, it will dry out, but you can put in some um, acetate and it'll thin it for you. Acetate or acetone? Acetone? Yeah, I guess it'd be acetone. Not acetone. Acetates that other stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You guys. I just wasn't sure. You're right, baby doll. That's cute. And then I was thinking it would be really cute with a stamp of some kind because it has that fabric. And I feel like that is kind of what that journal is like, is about um, traveling, travel. So let's see if I have a really cool stamp that kind of would match. That was a Christmas one, I think. It is Christmas, but it doesn't matter. I don't know. I have tons of stamps. I have tons more than this. So it's, is it really? Yeah. It is. How did that happen? This is Net, Net, Netherlands. Let's use that one. That'd be kind of cool. Oh yeah, I don't think we came out until almost nine. 
I am going to ink around this. I'm just going to use the red. You could use a marker or it just kind of gives it more, kind of frames it out. You can look up on the um, that one thing and see what all I need. I, d I know I need um, cedar, at least one cedar. I think. Sorry, we're talking about okay. packages. Bye, guys. Tazine. Tazine's Clint. See you later. Yeah, it feels warm in here. And I really like this. I thought, you know, just like up here or maybe up here. Just so you can see it, but that is so cool. I don't use a lot of stamps, but sometimes you do want a stamp. And I do love using them. I just don't think about it or, you know, it kind of needs to go with what I'm doing. Like the style or whatever. Push it down a little so that it doesn't cover that up totally. Kind of frame it a little, maybe. Isn't that cute? And then I was thinking I have this sorry silk. I need two of them because I want them to, well, you don't have to have them the same. Actually, where is that one? Like here. So. I mean, if I cut it in half, it would be about this big, which would be really tiny. So, I'm thinking if I cut it just a little, like here, and put it in the front one. So, I'm going to take that one out. I'm going to put this. Here. This is just some sorry silk that my friend sent me. I can't remember who it was. <laughs> Sometimes that's just the way it is, isn't it? I tell ya. I think it'd be really cool too if you like hung a charm. You don't want to pull too too tight or the whole hole will pop out, you know. That's gonna be fine. And then on this one, let's put gold. And I'm gonna put a couple of them because I like going a little long. bring in the gold. Uh, if I do it long though, I can trim it up later. like it's going to slip and sometimes if it slips it will kind of work itself out over over time so I am going to just put 
put a little glue and help keep it together. often so that it doesn't come undone over time. And then I'm going to put another one over here. That's what I love about these journals is you can do whatever you want. I mean it's you know you can really deck it out. You look at like the Edith Holden and stuff and you're kind of like ah. I don't want to put too much bling or shiny or this one. I can do whatever I want to. So I do love to go back and forth between my styles because I think it's really fun. And it's kind of fun to play with different styles, you know. Because what I put in this journal, I wouldn't put in, you know, a simple journal. So I'm going to do that little bow. I want a very big one. Again, I think I'm going to glue it. Just to hold it in place. And then this will go in here. And there is your secret journaling spot. And it's kind of kind of blends in, so you can kind of do whatever you want to do. We'll tri trim them. And then it'll just be a little piece of embellishment in your journal. I love that. I think that's so cute. I feel like I need words. So let's pull out our words. And I think that's as far as I'm going to get one. Isn't that crazy? But I do have um, a few that I can decorate at another time. So, um, I'm going to do this one. We are fearless, independent, and original. I really like that. And let's ink it just a little. I do like to ink um, kind of takes away the brightness of the white and I think that really looks nice. I think yellow would have been really pretty. I need more ink blenders. <laughs> we are fearless, calm, independent, And really, in tomorrow's video, I might just go ahead and decorate up the rest of them. You know what? Since I kind of ran out of time. And I really want to do that little boy. I think he'd be really cute to, to kind of see what we can um, do with him. But I think it's so fun because this is what you see. And then we know it's a secret journaling spot. So, and if you wanted to, you could even put on like another um, tag with a little hinge and then put some coffee dye paper in there. I've done that before as well. It just makes it a little bit thicker. But isn't that fun? I love that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. And I think tomorrow we're going to go ahead and decorate up the rest of them and see what we can do. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps us out. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye.